Alright guys, welcome to Gun and Build Guide. This is a bad week. A new trailer for the Cucker's Stone movie and the new theme song for that movie just dropped, but I'm so mad at Gun and Breaker that I'm just gonna get straight into that. We're on week 3 of the 3.4 update, and the game continues to not be what it used to be. Okay, so last week's improved rewards saying gun event was actually pretty cool. I grinded it as much as I could. I actually played multiplayer way more than I usually do. Because fun fact, I never maxed out the gold sumo, which was the first arena reward suit. Because at that time, I had no idea you had to max out parts. And I didn't really realize that until the second month I was playing the game. So anyway, I tried my hardest grinding the Saiyan Gundam, and I maxed out like the backpack, the head, the beam fan thing. And I also got some lucrative Santa Capel coins, which were very useful for maxing out parts on the Santa Capel. Let's talk about this week. This week we have a horrible Sokai event. It's got horrible rates, and I want to say it's the worst rates I've seen in this game in over a year. Since I can't remember the last time we had a banner this bad, and even though this is a Sokai event, I have to say that this is one of the worst Sokai events in history. I strongly recommend you guys don't pull on this banner at all. You need to save your money and send Bandai a message to not fuck with the rates this much. The suits are not even good. It's just the old ass Freedom Gundam again and the Quanti Full Saber again. I decided since I had to go for one Full Saber. So I did six pulls and I only got one part. These are super below average rates and I'm just not here for it. Now very interestingly, both of these suits go up to Master Grade skill, but it's kind of a moot point when you can't get the parts because the gotcha rates are so offensively bad. And on top of that, is it even worth it? If you get the parts, the charity suit this week is nothing new. It's another three-year-old unit. It's the oldest shit, basic Nataku Gundam. It's an easy suit to collect. Once again, doesn't go mass grade, so who cares? There's nothing else to consider about it. In other news this week, a new crew multi-mission dropped. Me and Amulet beat it together last night. If anyone on my crew wants my help doing it, I'm completely open to doing more plays on it because this week you can max out the Tall Geese Mark II which is another really good old charity suit I never maxed out. New battle circuit dropped. A lot of people had trouble with the Amphib round, but I ironically coasted through it because since I maxed out the Santa Capital, that came back to me and helped me get a pretty good edge on that round. One good thing I'm gonna call out in this update, capsule coins do seem to be permanent now, so I can focus on trying to grind out the last pieces I need for the Alex and the Easy 8 every week. Until I do that, I'm gonna be super into capsule coins, I guess. But yeah, the game itself is kind of in a decline, but on the bright side, the community itself is kind of stepping up. YouTube legend and man wearing a ninja costume, Dark Tsukiya, is organizing a world tournament with cash money prizes, which are enticing. Check it out, here's how it went. As you can see, this is the code for the mission. Now on the one hand, I play this game pretty religiously, so I think I have a good chance of winning this tournament, so I kind of want to get into it. He put a qualifier mission into the YouTube system, I ran through it and I beat it in two moves with my Barbatos Black. The mission is just you have to beat Sukiya's qualifier suit. And yeah, two shot him. Simple as cake. Now, I'm curious and bored enough to want to play the tournament, but on the other hand, I've got a very hectic life right now. So we'll see if I actually make it into the tournament or not. But right now I'm interested and it sounds fun. Alright, that's about all for me, you guys. Um, I was Green Buster Green. Um, yeah, this was just not a good week in this game. Thanks, as always, to my sole Patreon subscriber, The Spider-Man. Stay tuned to my channel. I've got some Pokemon reviews coming out later, and uh, I guess I'm going to try to stream Super Robot Wars again at some point when I have time. Alright, thank you guys. Later.